Welcome to how it's done. In this video I'm going to show you how. I turn this still image with no movement into a cinematic motion graphic. So let's get straight into it. The first thing we're going to do is to open the CapCut app and then click on Create Project. Click on Import to import all your files you will be using to create cinematic motion graphics. I have my files in the library already. I will just play the image in timeline as you can see the image is still and there's no movement. I am going to start with the sky effect first. Just going to add the clip to the timeline. The clip is long, so I will make it 5 second. I am choosing the part where it matches the sky in the image. Also I will make it to same length as image below in timeline. Now I will go to the top right side, under video tab, find mask. Then click on add mask, and I will choose split mask. On video player I will adjust the size and rotate it, little bit. Then scroll down and find feather, I will set the feather to 15. But you can set to match your image. Our sky does not have moon, I have the moon image in the library we can add. And now I will add the moon in timeline. I will resize in the video player and place it to where it fits the best. Also I will remove the background, as you can see the moon it's little bit bright. So we have to adjust the moon color and also the image brightness. Under adjustment tab, you can change your color. So I want to reduce the moon brightness. We're going to scroll down and find lightness, exposure, and reduce it little bit. Then I am going click on the image in timeline. We have the moon in our sky, so I want to increase the lightness of the image. Now I have finished with adjusting my colors. As you can see the moon is not moving, we just need to add keyframe for the moon. Click on moon clip in timeline, then click on video tab, basic tab. Move the playhead in timeline to the beginning, then add first keyframe. Then move the playhead in timeline and move the moon clip little bit in the video player. Don't forget to extend the moon clip in timeline and also keyframe point, we are done with the sky effect. I will quickly just play it in the video player to see if I need to change anything. It looks okay. Now I am going to add the fire clip in timeline. Make it same length as the other clips in timeline. Then under basic tab, click on blend. From the drop down list select screen. And on the video player resize and place it in the spot where the fire is on the image. Just playing the clip, I think we still have to make some adjustments. Let's make the bonfire a little bit bigger. Also I want to add little brightness to bonfire, again we need to go to adjustment. Play with colors until you get the right colors for your image. I am just trying different colors to see which suits our image. Bonfire should have reflection under the window. For that we need to create some type of flickering effect. Let's go copy the image in our timeline. You can hold on Alt and click on the image to duplicate it. Let's go to the Effect tab. Go to the search and type in strobe. So it's the first one and we are going to add the strobe effect in timeline. To the image we just copied. You can see the entire screen is flickering. But I just want the flickering effect to be just under the window wall. First I will adjust the flickering speed. Then go to mask tab, add mask, and select a circle mask. I am adjusting the mask in video player to cover small area. Where the reflection needs to take effect. I have made the circle mask small but I am increasing the feather. So masking is done, now we need to blend the image. So click on the duplicate image in timeline. Under basic tap, find blend and from the list select screen. 
We are done with flickering effect. I will play the clip now. Thank you for watching the video. Please support this channel by clicking on subscribe button.